Hey, I'm going to show you how to fix a hunter ceiling fan that is paired with two different remotes. In my case, I moved into this house. There was a ceiling fan here in this room and the same exact ceiling fan model in the room above it. And anytime I used this hunter remote to turn the light on or turn the fan on, both fans would turn on and I couldn't figure out why. And everything I found online said, take apart the remote and look for the dip switches to change the frequency or open up the fan and try to change the frequency and the dip switches there but I couldn't find any dip switches and I think it's just because this Hunter remote and this fan whatever the model is is not capable of that it only comes with one frequency so I, I looked online I couldn't find anything but basically what you have to do is you have to pair the fan with the remote 12 times and if you do that, then the fan will no longer be paired with the other remote. Now the reason for this is these Hunter fans, they have 12 memory slots where they can be paired with up to 12 remotes. And all, all you have to do to pair it is you hold the uh, zero button and the three button for three seconds, but it has to be done right after the fan has been powered on. Um, and that power has to come from the electrical wire, not from the, the switch on the remote. So the best way to do this is to go to your breaker switch at your house, turn your breaker off, turn it back on, and then go ahead and hold zero and three. I think it's for four seconds. You'll see that blue flash once it's paired. And what will happen is your fan will start spinning. Right now mine's not spinning because I didn't flip the breaker on and off. But that's what you need to do. Breaker off, breaker on, Hold zero and three, your fan will start spinning very slowly like this, and that's how you know it's paired. Then you go back and you do that 12 times. Do that 12 times on your first fan, then 12 times on your second fan, and then each fan will be paired with its respective remote 12 times, and all 12 memory slots will be filled up. Then they will not talk to each other because the, the remotes will not be paired with each other by accident. Hope that helps. I'm going to put a link to the manual in the description uh, where Hunter describes how to do this as well.